Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, 20 past five here in the UK uh, on Tuesday, the 25th of October. And it's great to see a little bit of green uh, on the front page of VectorVest USA. So uh, the short term trend has been up for the last three sessions. Uh, underlying trend is still down uh, and uh, for the underlying trend uh, to move to up the market timing indicator must get above one. We'll look at that in a second. And the longest term measure of the trend is still down. And uh, it's got quite a bit of work to do to change that because this buy sell ratio needs to get above one. Uh, and we've got to move up for two weeks in a row before we can get a, a confirmed up signal. Nevertheless, markets starting to look very interesting. Uh, and I think that we've got a, a, a decent rally within this bear market starting. I am going to play it as a rally within a bear market until it says something to the contrary. So uh, uh, let's have a look at the VictorVest market timing chart. I think I've got it up. I have got it up. And uh, I've got the DEW medium uh, term market timing system. So let's have a, a look. Uh, this is over six months, folks. Let's have a look over the last uh, uh, three months. And we can see that down signal we got just there, which has lasted now for a couple of months. And ladies and gentlemen, if this market, if a big, big word, there's full, still the guts of four hours to go trading. But if the market uh, stays up around here, uh, then it's certainly above the uh, moving average. And it's closed above the moving average for the last well, two trading days now and today, if it lasts till uh, nine o'clock tonight. And the uh, DPO, the detrended price oscillator is above zero. Uh, and if it stays like that until nine o'clock UK time tonight, until the floor closes, then we'll have a, uh, we'll have a DEW signal up. As you can see, folks, uh, the market, in fact, did a very predictable thing in that when this trend line broke, it went up a little bit, then came back and kissed. If you assume that most, uh, most signals uh, most markets will start to move after they have, in fact, gone back and kissed the previous resistance level. You're not far from the fact. So we've got a, a potential up market on our hands. Uh, so I, I, I'm, I haven't uh, done anything. I've got two positions in the U.S. market. Uh, I've got the XLE, which has got, gone very well. I've got the GDX, uh, which is slightly in the money. The XLE is well in the money. I've now got to find some candidates tomorrow, uh, and I'll do that before the Amer If we get the DEW signal tonight, then that's my job for tomorrow morning. Uh, so one stock that I have been looking at is this little stock called Shockwave. Now, if we go to the uh, uh, viewers tab, we can see that it's trading a mile above the vector S valuation. So it would not be a, this will not be of interest. Uh, to conservative investors, but for swing traders, it's looking quite good. It's up well today, uh, and uh, as as you'll see in a second, it's broken out today. RV is 1.2, uh, RS is 0.95, so very speculative indeed. Short term trend is good. Uh, the underlying trend's got its nose above the water. It's on a buy recommendation, but where it really comes is these growth numbers. It should, in fact, grow earnings next year at 51%. It doesn't pay a dividend. Uh, if we actually go to the right-hand side, we can see sales growth, 116%. Now, uh, this stock, if I've got the chart here, this is the stock, folks. And what it does, and it's something that's unfortunately very uh, near and dear to me at the moment, is that if you've got a little bit of calcification in your arteries, what it does is it actually shock waves these little buggers and breaks them up. Uh, and uh, uh, so we can see uh, that it's growing earnings strongly and it broke out of this old high. It hasn't broken a 52 week high, but it's broken this trend line and it broke it on reasonable volume today. And as you can see, there is a fairly easily uh, identified a uh, trend line which defines this triangle. I've been using VectorVest for a long time now, folks, and if you actually see a continuation pattern like this, and within the continuation pattern, uh, the earnings per share is rising, then invariably it breaks 
and does the right thing. This share is trading a mile above the vector best valuation. So as I say, it is a very speculative position, but uh, traders uh, who are familiar with technical analysis will know that this bit should be repeated. And if we actually move a little bit further here, that bit could be repeated on the upside. The first target would be this bit. Uh, so uh, let's. Uh, uh, the, the technology is unproven, uh, but it's it's a stock to me that looks to have uh, tremendous potential, and the market would seem to agree. Uh, so my job for tomorrow morning will be to look around and uh, uh, find uh, some stocks to dip my toes into this market with. As a trader, I could be tempted to buy into this. I'd certainly got everything going for it. But as I say, it's not for the uh, conservative investors out there. So uh, let's go and have a look at my dear friend, the S&P 500, because uh, it's, uh, we've had a cracking, at least I've had a really good day in it today. Uh, if we get rid of all of this, go to a three month chart. That's uh, how it's broken up. Uh, uh, this was a, a really, really good day on Friday. Uh, from this low is 62% of the last range, and it's moved up quite strongly today. Uh, now, those of you that have got uh, uh, the overnight market in front of you, you should actually be able to see uh, on the hourly chart some very clearly defined signals that I keep talking about at my Q&A sessions uh, on the hourly chart. Yesterday, there was a very marked a stochastic reverse divergence signal, or I, I call it a slingshot signal. And today there was another one. Uh, so two really, really easy trades. Today was easier than yesterday. Yesterday, the little bugger went back after the signal at the American Open, it went back and ran the stop losses. Uh, so uh, uh, I got stopped out and then I entered again, got, I got managed to make my money back. But today has been a really great day. I pulled back in the overnight market and I pulled 60 points out of it so far today. Uh, but uh, this is starting to look good. Clearly this uh, was a line in the sand here. Uh, if I put on the uh, eight day stochastic, uh, we can see that this eight day stochastic now is folks is moving up into this overbought situation. So sooner or later here, folks, we're actually going to get a pullback. Uh, and if we do get a pullback, uh, then as long as that pullback stays above this low, all is good. Uh, so uh, just remember uh, that markets don't move up in straight lines. Uh, and uh, they actually uh, we were due a major rising bottom here, but it, it looks quite good to me. And I shall dip my toes into the market uh, with a couple of shares, a couple of positions uh, tomorrow morning. And as soon as I do that, I'll in fact uh, put a video out about those. But uh, as from a trading perspective, uh, I like the look of that shock wave as a speculative trade uh, in addition to the XLE, in addition to the GDX. UK market still hasn't given a DEW signal up and I've done absolutely nothing in that market. I went through all the stocks that I'm uh, looking at in the UK market yesterday afternoon at our VectorVest Q&A. And there is a recording of that if anybody's interested, uh, just give me a shout, uh, david.paul at vectorvest.com. Uh, so I hope this helps folks. Uh, and uh, we're looking good. Uh, we're looking good initially for a bear market rally here. Uh, thanks very much.